hey guys welcome to my youtube channel so here we were discussing about sparks basic architecture so to understand it better i am going to explain you a simple analogy in my whiteboard so if you like the content please like this video share it with your friends I am explaining you with a very simple analogy. You can relate this with your Sparks architecture. Okay. So let us imagine that. Uh, just let me change my color. Okay. So let us imagine that you have a teacher here. And you have few students in your classroom. Okay, somewhere here. Okay, so is student number one, is student number two, is student three, for example. And teacher gets one task, for example, teacher gets a task like to count the coins inside these bags. Okay, so this is the first task to count the coins okay teacher gets the task this is task one now what does teacher do teacher do not do this work because there are so many coins and teacher alone cannot do it so what does teacher do teacher distributes these coins or first it will partition the coins and then it will distribute to the students so it will say that okay you take these coins and you take these coins and you take these coins and start counting these coins or it will keep that coins with these students okay you keep it with you and whenever i say to do work you can start doing the work then the teacher says that okay start counting the coins so it will count the coins and then give a feedback like okay there are four coins and it will give a feedback like there are three coins again it will give a feedback like there are Two coins so teacher sums up all this four five six seven eight nine so teacher sums up and give it back a result like there are nine coins so this is how it works so let me just remove this okay so he gives the feedback like there are four there are three there are two and then teacher submits it like there are nine coins this is a basic understanding of spark architecture i'll relate everything just continue the session let me take a different color mm. okay now teacher get one more task teacher get one more task now you get one more bag and there are many coins inside this okay and now you might be think, thinking like oh student 3 as as have worked very very less when you compare to student 1 because student 1 has uh, counted four coins but whereas student 3 counted only two coins so how like how this student is working so less so if you are thinking in this way so teacher do not have any idea like who is working how many coins do these have because teacher is already busy in partitioning the coming task and then distributing it with the students so here comes one more picture so what teacher do teacher will hire or teacher will have one more assistant so teacher will have one assistant with her so she is the assistant and she is in contact with all the students so she is in contact with all the students she know exactly like what is the capability of these students how much these students are working and how much these students are uh, like can do the work so because these assistants is only looking at the students now assistant knows that okay all the students are same level and they are capable of handling the same task but student 3 got only few tasks and that will be informed to the sub teacher 
so this assistant will inform to the teacher now what will happen these coins whatever the teacher has been distributed partition the data with the help of this assistance now this assistant teacher tells the main teacher that oh this students uh, student number three got only few work load so you can give or you can assign him the more workload now so this teacher now the second task whatever the t2 is coming so he will partition the data and he will start distributing to the coin uh, student three more coins whereas he'll just distribute him the same or he may distribute him the less so i'm just giving you the example this not this might not happen in the similar way it can happen in any way depending upon the situation so now this coins are again counted and then given a feedback back to the teacher and teacher sums up all this and again give a feedback to the uh, like whoever the task is given he will again give the feedback so this is exactly what the simple analogy is when once you start thinking about the spark architecture so let me take this copy the image here from this and let me paste it somewhere here so so in my analogy you can easily relate the things for example for example this driver program this driver program is your teacher can you able to relate this is your teacher and this is your worker node this is your student number one this is your student number two and this cluster manager is your assistant teacher and if teacher gets like a task to count the coins it will partition the data and then it will distribute the data to the worker nodes or your data sits inside this course like this okay so if i call if i call this whole if i just draw a rectangle here and if i call this whole thing as her as a classroom classroom so this is exactly you can relate to to your architecture this is called as a cluster so now what is cluster cluster is nothing but in a layman's language it is a group of computers so these computers are nothing but they, those are virtual computers okay so a group of computer means specially it has only one driver node one driver and and n number of workers n number of workers so that worker nodes can be one two three four depending upon the workload so this is one of the simplest analogy what i can explain you okay what does the cluster manager do so he will interact with this worker nodes it will check like which worker node is a uh, slot which is in task so what is slot so this core has both things like it has slot and it has task if this core is working then it will show us that okay it is in task like there the score is doing something if it is not doing task it is ideal then it will show us that it is a slot so slot is the score is an ideal so all the details about this worker nodes are captured by this cluster manager and with the help of cluster manager only the data is distributed to the different nodes so you can see all are connected so if you want let me uh, let me show you in this image yeah you can see all the lines are connected so this driver program is connected to the cluster this cluster is connected to the worker node and you can see the both the arrows that both are bi direction similarly your driver program is directly connected to the worker
so now let us see let us see about the cluster managers so there are four types of cluster managers first is a standalone so standalone is a simple cluster manager which includes spark that makes it very easy to set up a cluster second is your apache mesos so that is also a general cluster manager that runs your hadoop map reduce and the service application so we have discussed about the yarn cluster manager similarly you can set up a same yarn cluster manager like hadoop's yarn uh, but that resource manager in hadoop whatever we had in hadoop to the same cluster manager we can use in spark also but this is somewhat deprecating we are not using much when it comes to an automatic deployment if you want to do if you want to run uh, automatic jobs then or scale it we go for the kubernetes so these are the four types of cluster manager in spark thank you guys thank you for watching so i hope you have understood the sparks architecture in a very simple analogy if you like the content please like the video please support us share the video with your friends and thank you again for watching this video